Greetings everyone, Craig Hester here with R2A Watches and the Detente Watch Group. Today we are going to be talking about bronze. Specifically, bronze and how it is used to make cases for watches, and in particular, the watches that we import into North America. Right here you're looking at the Vostok Europe Almaz watch, which has a bronze case. And I want to be clear that uh, we're not really going to be focusing on the particular types or models of watches or their specifications and functions. This is strictly to be talking about bronze as an alloy and how it is used in building the watches. Okay, so this does happen to be the Almaz, which is um, one of Vostok Europe's uh, model lines. Also, the Energia line has bronze models as well. So I want to give a disclaimer up front. I am not a metallurgist or an expert on metals, nor am I an expert on bronze. I have learned a lot about it in the past couple of three years since uh, Vostok Europe first came out with their first bronze models. And so I definitely uh, have learned a lot myself and I'm going to convey to you what I understand. More than happy in comments on YouTube or anywhere else for you to uh, let me know if I have something wrong here or if you have other information about bronze that you would like to share. Now, what is bronze? Well, first of all, bronze is an alloy. And what is an alloy? An alloy is a metal that is made up of two or more other metals. And as opposed to, say, copper or uh, aluminum or um, silver, those are pure metals. Bronze is an alloy, so it is a composite of two or more other metals. Most of the time, the bronze that is used, uh, the metals that are used in bronze are primarily copper and tin. But then there are other doping alloys that get used in bronze as well. Now, in the case of Vostok Europe, um, they use what is referred to as marine grade bronze. And there are a couple of doping alloys that will give you, I'm gonna just take this cover off the back so you can see it better, that will give you what is referred to as marine grade bronze. Um, the one that Vostok Europe uses, the bronze that they use, is referred to as phosphor bronze or phosphorus bronze because the doping alloy outside of copper, and obviously copper is what gives you that color, uh, the doping alloy outside of copper uh, is phosphorus. And that is one of the marine grade bronze that you can use uh, for well, a number of things. There are oh, gosh, there's so many different doping alloys you can use. Magnesium is a possibility. And one of the other popular ones, which I'll get to in a minute, um, is aluminum bronze, which actually has a different color and some different uh, characteristics to it than the phosphorus bronze that Vostok Europe is using here. The most important thing to note again is it is marine grade bronze. What does that mean? Well that means that it is highly anti-corrosive for one thing and that it, it is um, very strong. Bronze is a very strong metal uh, or, or alloy is a better way to put it. It's a very strong alloy, uh, very rigid and can withstand great stresses and again, it is very corrosive resistance, which is important uh, when you're talking about things that you're going to be using uh, in a marine environment, particularly in a saltwater environment. So um, with this one here, you're looking at the energy. You've got the all bronze case. And then I'm going to go back real quick to an all Maz and show you something, too, that's important. You're going to see you talk about bronze cases. You're also going to notice that the case back on this watch is actually stainless steel. There's a reason, as I digress to this for a minute, that the case back is a different metal. If you did have, with the fact that these are screw-in case backs, if you used bronze on the case back, because of the fact that bronze will patina and uh, what will happen over time, those two pieces of bronze would literally fuse together and then you wouldn't be able to open the case back of the watch. So you have to use a different uh, metal for the case back. And you'll even notice on the Energia, uh, uh, Igor and his team wanted to have a bronze case back, but you'll notice that even the screws there that you use um, to remove the case back or to, or to secure it in place, they're stainless steel so that, again, you don't have that fusing. Now, getting back to the different kinds of bronze. All right, so Vostok Europe uses uh, phosphor bronze, which again is primarily doped 
uh, well, first of all, is copper is 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 the, the largest component and the base metal, and then you have a. Uh, um, tin, and then in this case, phosphorus. Now, Delta T, which is another brand that we bring into North America um, out of Hong Kong. Uh, you can see here, this is their NBS, uh, just wild and crazy watch. This is aluminum bronze, okay? Also marine grade, extremely sturdy, very popular uh, to be used in materials that are built uh, for seagoing vessels because of particularly how well it withstands uh, salt water. Uh, for anti-corrosion, um, but you'll notice that it's a different color. There's a couple of things that are actually different between the phosphor-based or phosphorus-based bronze and the aluminum bronze. You'll see that the aluminum bronze is more of a, I guess what I would argue is a yellow gold look. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm not saying that it's gold in any way or that it's associated with gold. I'm looking for a, just a way to describe the color, whereas the phosphorus bronze, which is the, the, the Vostok Europe over here, is a little more red and gives you more of that classic copper look to it, whereas the aluminum gives you a little bit more of the yellow. One of the things that's also uh, people why people choose, say, phosphorus bronze, if you'll notice, it has, and, and yes, the word grain, while used in wood, is actually, uh, I've learned an appropriate term for metal, it has what you would call a tighter grain to it. And compare that, look at the grain on the aluminum bronze, it has a little wider grain. So it's really just about what, in that case, it's about what look you're going for. Are you wanting more of a smooth look to the case? Or are you wanting more of like a rough, uh, military or a little a little more edge to the to the case like uh, the MBS has and you'll notice also they use a stainless steel uh, case back um, so that's really what it comes down to in terms of the two uh, types the two primary types of uh, bronze that you're gonna see used in cases for watches now Another thing that's important to note is you've got to have a really high quality build on your watch if it has a rotating bezel and it's bronze because bronze on bronze like titanium on titanium is not necessarily easy to turn when you've got the two rotating against each other. So that's another uh, example of the caliber of build, particularly here in, the, in this case with Vostok Europe, of having that rotating bezel. Uh, in the bronze. Now, another thing that Vostok Europe does is I, bronze is going to patina. You know that. It's going to oxidize over time and it's going to develop a patina. So let's do a little comparison here and look at two of the watches. This is before patina and this is after patina. But I also want to point out that this one on the right is what we call pre patina and I'll get to that in a second. But you can see how the color develops as the patina, how it gets deeply, richly into, particularly where you've got these grooves here and openings in the in in the alloy, uh, you get this rich, deep color. Usually a green, or it's going to have a bluish hue to it, um, which is part of the why they choose the colors. Vostok Europe uh, chooses the colors that they do in the dials to pull out the patina over time. You can see even this one, which hasn't been in our, I'm on the left here, but hasn't been in our stock for that long of a time, already has some patina on it. Now, the one here on the right, oh, let me show you two, uh, you can really see the difference when you when you hold it up to two energias. You can see how deep and rich the pre-patina or the currently, you know, one that's already patinaed and then one without the patina. Now, this is going to develop naturally over time, but one of the things that Vostok Europe did, because they know that you know, some, some watch guys are not that patient, um, they created a process they call pre-patina, and they have an artisan in uh, Vilnius, Lithuania, who actually takes the watches, and they do a chemical process on the watch to quickly accelerate the patina process, and then they remove parts of the patina on the watch and leave parts and, and so forth uh, to give you this beautiful look of what we call pre-patina. Now, um, again, this could happen, this will happen naturally over time, but if you want to get that right away, Vostok Europe offers watches with the pre-patina. We offer them that way. Um, this is the first time I've had this many bronze watches together at one time, which is part of why I wanted to do this video today. Um, so you've got the opportunity to have it patina ahead of time and you know it's hand done and that also creates a situation where every watch is unique. 
because every single one is going to patina differently, even with the pre-patina process, than the other one. I want to show you too a new one, the new Almaz that's just come out. I don't have both of them here uh, in the pre-patina, but this is the new blue dial. There's also a new green dial. You can see how the patina just pulls out that color. Um, it is just a stunning, stunning combination on this. This one, they really left a lot of the patina on the case, which just looks really awesome. But again, it's a matter of taste. Um, here's a pre-patina on the brown Energia, the brown dial, and then here it is on the teal dial. So again, with Vostok Europe, you're talking about the phosphorus-based bronze material, and then with Delta T for the NBS, which is their only bronze model, I believe, at this point, uh, you are talking about the aluminum-based. And uh, neither one of them is better or, 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 or lesser than the other. It's a matter of taste. It's a matter of what color you want to get out of the bronze. And it's a matter of um, whether you want a fine grain in the metal or if you want more of a wider grain in the metal. Again, similar to how you would discuss grains in wood. There's fine grain wood and then there's wider grain wood. Um, you know, oak is going to look a lot different than cherry. Uh, so that's the whole idea here. Um, you also get a great deal of durability out of bronze. The fact that it's patinas does, is not anything to say at all negative about the nature of the alloy. That's just the fact that it is copper and tin. It's going to oxidize. Um, that's just a beauty of this metal, um, of this alloy. Uh, it doesn't mean anything negative. It is a very strong, again, very tensile strength is very strong on bronze. Um, a lot of alloys are that way. Putting two metals together properly can really create, uh, usually can create a stronger metal than what you're going to find in nature. And that is the case with bronze, again, being doped with, uh, with tin and other potential choices when you're starting with the copper. Obviously, much stronger than copper. Copper is a very malleable metal. Uh, bronze, once the alloy is done, is not. Um, so you're going to get great durability out of it. They're great for w watches with high water resistance. Uh, you get great corrosion resistance. So again, that's why there is such a thing as marine grade bronze and why bronze is so often used in marine situations. So any questions, let us know at info at r2awatches.com. And you can post comments uh, uh, and, and let us know. Again, if I've got anything wrong on here about uh, how this one with the smoothness of this bezel. Yes, I know I interrupt myself uh, and I love that dial um, on the energy. If I've got anything incorrect about uh, bronze on here, hey, let me know. I want to make sure that I'm sharing accurate information. So I'm Craig Hester with R2AWatches.com and the Detente Watch Group. This is all about bronze case watches. Keep watching.